145,000 people call Naperville home. But how much do you really know about where you live? Naperville News 17's Alyssa Bohenick had the chance to get a behind the scenes look at how one group aims to catch us up on the history of our town. Since 1969, Naper Settlement has been sharing stories of our town's past and how it relates to the present. But that's not the whole picture. Naper Settlement invited guests to attend a private event to preview We the People, a new way to inspire their visitors through a different experience. I'm so excited to share with you just a few of the stories that we hope to tell the public in the coming years. Stories that really connect us to We the People that essence of who we are as Americans. Four groups were welcomed to tour through time around the Public Works Building, where Naper Settlement houses some of their artifacts. They heard stories not often told in town, like tales of bravery and sacrifice from World War I and a lesson on justice from the Fair Housing Act. They also looked back at people who've helped shape the town, like former Mayor Pradle and the Crayler family in Naperville a story many may not know. The name may sound familiar, thanks to the Crayler family YMCA in town, but the story began long before the building got its name. My part of the Naperville story this evening was about Peter Crayler and how he started out at 21 at the Naperville Lounge Company and by 31 was in charge of the company um, to a company that he built up to be a world's largest furniture manufacturer. Og was able to share how Peter Crayler not only built a business, but a connection to those in town even today. Much of my family worked for Crayler's. My great-grandfather actually moved down from Racine, so he came down to make furniture. And then following that, um, uh, he actually introduced my grandmother and my grandfather, who were working there at the time, and then my father worked there. It was a rare look at a Naperville history not told before, but one that can help pave the way for the future. Every one of these things do represent a story, and I think no one story is better than the other, but I think if we don't know these stories, um, we'll lose a part of our history, we'll lose some of what makes us Napervillians. This is so important, an understanding of the importance of our community, because you see, how our community grew up and how Naperville developed is truly a mirror of how our country grew up. I'm Alyssa Bohenick for Naperville News 17. Naper Settlement plans to hold more We the People events in the future.